Hello, my name is Jameson Young. I'm sitting here with Jameson Hello. Young. This is our YouTube channel, Self Conflicted. Uh, today we got uh, just a, a series of short stories to tell you. Starting with this one, a New Jersey couple. It's kind of an old story. You might have heard of it, but it keeps popping up back into the news for bad reasons usually. But uh, anyway, this couple, uh, Caitlin McClure, her boyfriend, Mark D'Amico, and their apparent friend, Johnny Bobbitt. This couple, uh, they arranged this scam GoFundMe. on this GoFundMe uh, thing and where Johnny Bobbitt was a homeless guy. He gave C Caitlin McClure a 20, her, his last $20 bill. So from there, Caitlin McClure and Mark D'Amico uh, decided to start a GoFundMe page for him, raised $400,000. At first, it seemed like this couple was just keeping the money, and now it uh, actually seems like they're not just keeping that. All three of them were in on this scam, so all three of them uh, are getting brought up on charges. And uh, Caitlin McClure is back in the news because she, I guess she had a state job, and she's now losing it. So anyway, any thoughts on that? It was a smart scam. They're smart. That's all you have to say. They're pieces of crap. Okay. Well, oh, good. We can, <laughs> we can at least agree on that. So, yeah, if you want to look them up, they're from New Jersey. Kate, Caitlin McClure, Mark D'Amico, Johnny Bobbitt, and uh, and yeah, we hope uh, hope nothing for the but the worst for these guys. Okay. Our uh, our next story is about a man who tried to bribe an ICE officer to deport his uh, foreign wife. From El Salvador. I actually kind of feel for this guy. I'm sure he's not the first guy to want his wife to get deported. <laughs> Probably true. But anyway, this uh, man from Portland, Oregon, Antonio Oswaldo Burgos, 48. Apparently, he gets married to this El Salvador girl. She, he brings her over, her and her kid. And uh, apparently, uh, about right when they she got married and got all her paperwork is when she decided she didn't want to be married to him anymore. So uh, he, that, this uh, caused uh, some problems, obviously. And uh, he eventually followed down a, an ICE agent. And uh, from there, he, uh, he offered the ICE agent $4,000. The ICE agent accepted the offer, but not uh, not seriously. He was actually just playing along to uh, to set him up and uh, get him on a recording when they were talking on the phone. But uh, anyway, so yeah, he's he's uh, he's getting charged. He could face up to you know 15 years in prison and 250 thousand dollar fine. Obviously, he's probably not going to get that much, but. Any 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 other real thoughts on Gotta this? Gotta be careful with the the mail order brides. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. Okay, our next story is kind of both uh, an interesting and a sad story. This one guy, um, John Allen Chow, he uh, went to India to these, and then he uh, he uh, paid paid a bunch of fishermen to take him to these islands, the North Centennial, Centennial Islands. From there, he, he was like a Christian mi missionary, and from there he wanted, I don't know if he wanted to try and like teach them the gospel or what, but anyway... On these islands are uh, indigenous people. I've I've heard about this before, like in a um, like in the Amazon yeah, rainforest. And, uh, the, the, like in the Amazon rainforest, they have these too. But these uh these islands with these indigenous people for thousands of years, they are completely untouched. Like they have no connection with the modern world whatsoever. They're just straight out of dances like, with wolves. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that would be. They're just straight indigenous people who have no connection with the modern world. He goes ashore. He he's he's an American. He's thinking he's gonna give him some gifts, uh, fish, footballs, uh, all sorts of stuff. And uh, the first time he goes ashore, he gets shot at. You think that might think, be like uh, his first? Clue. Yeah, the, the, I think he'd kind of catch on from there. But he, the, then he uh, he comes back the next day, and from there they kill him. The fishermen said they saw him dragging his body away. And uh, yeah, I feel kind of sorry for the guy. But uh, anyway, what do you think? Well, th these these are like these those, they're like those uh, Tijuana people. They need diversity training and to realize how wonderful multiculturalism is. Well, I, I suppose so. But uh, jokes aside, I mean, do you think they should uh, like get well, the body to to to, re -clarif to, to clarify? Um, the guy was killed with bow and arrows, so not guns. He was he was shot with a bow and arrow. 
to answer your question, I, if they can get the body back, uh, sure. But it kind of sounds like they can't because there's some pretty strict rules on this place. So if they can, yeah, they can. Yeah, if they it, can't, I don't, I don't it know. It probably what else was to a little say. bit like a misadventure, but uh, there's, this, there's a, a little bit of a history. For the most part, people stay away from this island, but there's a little bit of history of, of this happening. Some fishermen uh, washed ashore in 2006 and. Uh, and the tribe the tribes people killed them too and there were never no charges brought up i think they found the bodies so well hopefully it uh, hopefully it all goes well but it doesn't sound like like anything good is going to come from that okay and this leads us to our uh, final story an arguably most important one uh mandy moore got married so <laughs> so, so what's your thoughts on that i don't give a <laughs> Come on, you have to have some thoughts on on Mandy. Do you le are you at least heartbroken? Or or relevant? <laughs> okay, well, Jameson doesn't have too many thoughts on on Mandy. I hope uh, I hope the best for. Her. Anyway, thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel, Self Conflicted. Thank you.